Okay. So um, today I will show you how to add lidar sensor to your mobile robot. So uh, previously we have made our own uh, mobile robot. So here is the mobile robot. So for this mobile robot, uh, we usually change in the URDF file to add some physical uh, object uh, like adding sensor physically and adding the software part in this gazebo. So gazebo from here to here, we usually add the software for the LiDAR, if I can say it as a software. And here, uh, the link here, and here we usually add the uh, material like uh, to the robot, such as we add the wheel, we add robot arm. So here is the wheel and robot arm. And to control the wheel and robot arm, we will usually add a plugin in Gazebo. So this is the physical, this is the software. Okay. So now I want to add a physical uh, Hokuyo LiDAR on this robot. It is a laser data. Okay, to do that, I go to the Gazebo tutorial. So we want to use some of the file inside uh, this tutorial so, uh, on the RR robot. So I need to copy and run this file. So first, I go to the workspace. Make sure you already have a workspace. Captain underscore WS SRC. And then we add this file by using git clone. If you have not installed git clone, please install git. Okay, we have finished. So what happened here, we just add in our Captain WS SRC here. We add another file. <coughs> So to use this file, we need to get in make. We need to build uh, this uh, uh, robot file. So okay. So looks like everything is working well. So after we done this, uh, we want to. We don't want to use this robot app. We want to focus on only on the lidar. So go down here. So if you want, you can read more about this thing here. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, now uh, we want to go to the plugin part. Okay, go to the tutorial plugin. So we will go to the GPU laser here. So here, the mesh or the scheme of the LiDAR is given in the RRT robot description. So I need to install the RR bot here. So this is the part where we have the link in join. So this is the physical part of the LiDAR. So we want to copy this and add to our mobile robot in the URDF and open and uh, it edit this with text editor so we have two part here which is the physical robot part from link up here to link uh, down here okay and now we just need to add our video ladder so it's not i already add before so i just want to delete this and add it again now i add everything uh, physic uh, on the physical of the rider <clears throat> so uh, the base link of my robot is here parent link so the parent link is where we uh, link between the hopio and the robot so i link it at my base so I use space link here. So now I already add my LiDAR. So let's try to open this file. Okay.
terus launch <laughs> terus launch a mobile robot fish in my case I will make it this this is my robot name gazebo launch <laughs> So if everything is working well, we can see the light up. Let's hope we don't have any problem. Okay guys, so if we look properly, we can see our LiDAR here. However, this LiDAR position is very high up here. So this is about one meter. So we need to adjust the Z position here to become something much smaller. Maybe 0 0.3 or something like that. So hopefully okay. and let's run this again. So now I adjust the height by you I adjusting the Z I can actually adjust the height of my robot. So now you can see that the LiDAR position is about okay. <clears throat> okay. Next, uh, I want to have the to get the LiDAR data. If I check to the ROS topic, I cannot see any LiDAR data here because I haven't add any uh, <clears throat> uh, LiDAR uh, li uh, LiDAR software or the the part we simulate uh, the LiDAR output. <clears throat> so let's do that. So let's go back here. So we already done the physical. Now we want to add a plugin that can give out LiDAR data. Okay, in here, before the gazebo down here, we want to add our plugin. Okay. So here we go back to this one here. So this is uh, now we want to add the plugin. Here is the plugin that we want to add. Okay. okay. So we add this plugin here and we just add down here. Okay, maybe we want to take up the and we want sorry I'm sorry a little mistake here so we want to add down here so gazebo so we want to add after gazebo so the gazebo reference is copy only uh, so in terms of the GPU rate the sensor type we use GPU and uh, we can either visualize or we don't want to visualize so if I want to just make it true and how many uh, laser data so this is in terms of pi and so we make the sample of 360 okay and the range mean and max maximum range i don't want to make it so far just want to use uh, six resolution is the error 
0 0.1 and this is the Gaussian error that we want to make for the right measurement. So the topic that we want to give up should be just scan. And this the frame is, is the same. Okay, now I save this one and let's run again. I have some problem on launching does it work so I just launch several times until it works let's hope it works this time yes it works and I can actually see my live data okay so so it, it, it is not looking forward so I need to turn my uh, my LiDAR data later on but currently I can say that I can already get my LiDAR data and if I make rostopic list now I can see there is scan data so I can visualize my LiDAR data inside uh, RVs so that's all guys let's try this